Hello and welcome to an introduction to the MarkLogic unit test. For this tutorial, we will assume you have some knowledge of MLGradle. If you haven't, I would encourage you to explore the MLGradle automation video series available at developer.marklogic.com slash video slash MLGradle automation. Before we get into the hands-on, let's set the stage and go through some of the tenets of unit testing. Defining unit tests should be part of the code design process, as they can help establish expectations for the behavior of our code. All tests should have a meaning and be useful, otherwise, why do it? Test each behavior only once, as redundancy leads to inefficiency. For clarity, each test should test a single behavior and clearly comment each test. Make it obvious what you are testing and why. Now MarkLogic unit test is not enabled by default with MLGradle, so we need to add references to it in our Gradle build file. Notice that we have now added it into both of the dependency areas. This is required if you're going to make use of the unit test tool. In the Gradle properties file, we will be able to indicate how MLGradle will be connecting to MarkLogic. Notice that there are two different ports. When this is deployed, it will create two different app servers with two different content databases, but they will share the same modules database. This will allow us to run our unit test with one set of data while leaving the other set alone. Also notice that there are two different folders listed for the module path. This allows us to keep our test scripts separate from the processing code. As you can see in my folder structure, under the source directory for my project, I have the main branch like you're used to seeing, and also a test branch. All of my test code and its sample data will live in this branch. In addition to the tests themselves, I can also create custom setup and teardown code that can run before and after each test and before and after each suite of tests. For example, my setup JavaScript file will load a content file from the modules database into the content database once for the test suite. I have two test scripts in my project. For each script, you need to include the test helper library and the code library you are going to test. The outcome of the test is computed using one of the assert functions available from the test library. In my example here, I've used my item average function and I am comparing the result to the known correct answer. Notice that the code is commented and only testing a single behavior. I wrote the second test script to show what would happen if a test fails, but realize it is also an example of what not to do. It basically doubles up on what the last script was testing, making it redundant. Also, there are no comments explaining what is going on. With our configuration set and the scripts written, I can now use MLGradle to deploy the project. This will stand up the databases and app servers and load all of our files. We've got a few choices available when it comes to using the unit tests. The first option I want to show you is from right here at the command line. I can use the MLGradle task of mlUnitTest to have it run the test. This will give us feedback here in the terminal and also create a log file. Realize that I had written two tests, and we can see that one passed and one failed. The second option we have is to use the UI that is provided by the unit test tool. This was put in place when we ran the deploy task. Notice that I'm using the port for the test app server and not my main app server. I want to make sure that I'm double checking which content database is listed in the top right corner, as that is the one that my setup and teardown scripts will be running against. Now, as you can see, I have the ability to expand my test suites and select individual tests to run if I was so inclined. In this case, 
I'm going to leave it with the default of running all, and I'll click Run Tests. Once again, we had one fail and one pass. Realize that our goal would actually be to write tests that we want to see be successful. To get MarkLogic, download it from developer.marklogic.com. Get more training by visiting marklogic.com learn, or download the MarkLogic mobile app available on both the Apple App Store and Google Play. Thank you for watching this MarkLogic University tutorial video.